Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today I got a couple tips for you regarding using guidelines. So guidelines or guides as they're often referred to or construction lines or reference lines or virtual chalk lines. I've never actually heard anybody call it that, but that's kind of how I think about them. Uh, are lines you can put into your model that don't actually have any materials or substance attached to them. They are straight up just in the program that they don't, they don't cut materials that you can't uh, uh, create surfaces out of them. They're just there in 3D space to use as reference. Uh, there's a square one I did on that a, a little while ago. You can look at the basics of it, but I've seen several questions come up on the forum recently asking about how to create specific kinds of guides or what to do with them once they're in there. And I had a couple tips I thought I would share. Let's hop in. All right, so first, super quick primer. If you've never made a guide before, they are used or, or created using the tape measure tool. Now, there's a couple different things here. So when you first open up the tape measure tool, it's going to have this little icon floating behind it. It's a little dotted line with a plus on it. That means you are in the guide drawing mode. You can change that by hitting, if you look down at the bottom, see right here it says, I'm on Mac, so it tells me option to, to toggle create guide. If I tap option, it turns that on and off. And that's going to be slightly different if you're on Windows in that you'll have a different key there but you, you have the ability to turn it on and off. When you first come in though, you will be in the create guide uh, portion of tape measure. Now, there's two different guides that end up getting created. One is an infinite guide. An infinite guide is generally created by clicking on any edge in the model and then moving it wherever you want. So you can see here, I can move any direction away from this, but the guide itself is going to be parallel to that first edge I clicked on. So wherever I put it, if I use an inference to snap to red or blue, um, I can't snap to green, of course, because green in this case is the direction of the guide. Or if I just snap off at some weird angle like this, it's going to create a line and that line is going to be infinitely along, or infinite along the entire model in the direction of the, the edge I clicked on. So if I click on angle one like this, same thing, I can move off there and then those two lines cross and go on forever and ever and ever. The other kind of guide I can create is a segment. So if I click right here on a point and I drag that up and click again, I get a segment between those two points I clicked on. These are created by starting your guide on a point. So if I come click right here, so you can pull it up as far as I want, come across here. Now, a caveat, and I'm not, I'm not a hunt, I can't say exactly why this functions this way, but this is what happens. If I start at a point and drag that line to the end of another guide, watch down as I click. I get another one of those infinite guidelines. I don't know, like I said, I'm not sure exactly why that happens like that, but uh, if you go from one point to another point, you get an infinite line. So something to note as you're drawing that that is how that works. So something else that comes up a lot of time is people have a ton of guidelines and they, you know, it's, it's messing up my model. I can't see anything. Um, all right. There's a couple things you can do to handle that. If you go up to um, view, you actually have the ability to toggle guides on and off. Simple view guides, show the guides or don't show them. If you do truly want to get rid of them, under edit, there is a delete guides function. So clicking that will remove all guides from my model no matter what. I'm gonna go ahead and get those back because I got more, more stuff to talk about here. Guides are, like I said, they are kind of their own creature. They're not, they don't work exactly like edges. I can't create a surface with them. Um, I can snap to them just like I can to a regular edge, but they in themselves don't actually exist in 3D space. They're just kind of like, like I said, like chalk lines, not, not real things. But I can interact with them like I would uh, a regular line. So if I want to come in and erase a line, I can just erase it. If I want to select a line, I can interact with it with, you know, regular commands. I'll move this one. Uh, I'm going to come in here, rotate it. Anything I can do with a regular edge, I can also do with uh, guidelines. And that includes, let's grab a bunch of these, putting them 
onto their own tag. So in here, I have one tag, special tag called guides, and I can actually come in here and assign those to guides. When I do that, now I have visibility options or color options or whatever that I can actually come in here and change. So if, if I want more granularity rather than, you know, just the full guides are on and off, I can actually assign them to my own custom created uh, tags over here. And so, I mean, this doesn't make sense. They're all in the same one. Maybe, maybe I have, you know, some of these are actually going to be on their own tag. I'll create a, a small guides. I don't know. I, I didn't, I didn't feel real creative with that, I guess. And I could take just these little ones and move them to small guides. That way I could toggle individually these ones or these ones. So people do, like I said, this, I see a lot of the comments I see about guides, people are concerned or, or have some sort of fear of playing with guides, but they're really just, they're simple references that you can create inside your model. Another question that came up that I wanted to mention real quick, one last thing, is if how do I create a guide on a line? Because I click here and now I have to, you know, it's asking me for a second place to click. If you just click on the same spot again, it'll drop that guide right on that line. So if there's ever, I don't know why you would do this, um, but everybody uses guides differently. Some people like inferencing, some people don't. Um, that's kind of your call as far as how you want to make that. Um, but that's how you get a guide on a line. That's a question that's come up a couple of times is I, some people are creating guides and they're offsetting them a foot and then coming back and selecting them and pushing them back down a foot. You don't have to do that. Just click your second back on that same line that the, the first guide existed on and you should be good to go. All right, so I, I know that was just a bunch of, I almost said random tips. They weren't random. They were very intentionally given to you about this one topic. Um, I just wanted to have something that went beyond where the square one was and gave a bunch of, of maybe how to use guides tips for you. So if, if you're one of those people who have seen guides or guides show up in your model and you're not sure what to do with them, hopefully that's enough information to get you feeling comfortable with using guides inside of your SketchUp model. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, leave us a comment down below. Are you a guides person? Do you like using guides or have you never used them before? Do you fear them? It's a safe place to talk about that if that's the case. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.